Hello, dear friends. At a national conflict, keep me awake and tear my soul apart, because I perceive the disharmony, the trembling of the force, even though I trust in the divine plan. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Take care that you are not troubled, because all, all of this must happen. But it is not the end yet, Jesus said. Opinion peace, quarrels, war in Israel, conflict returns, never-ending story, the phoenix hypothesis, this lowers the frequency. Is this a destruction? Your soul knows what is coming. You are more than you think you are. Perfect storm for the economy. Let's start. It was not necessary to wait for the prophetic date of next Friday, October 13th, for a brawl to break out and the St. Quentin's Day to break out again in the Middle East, just as the war in Ukraine was ending. This is happening just when the bad guys were running out of money. Violence does not solve any problems. It makes problems worse and causes a lot of suffering. The Marian messages have been repeating that next Friday, October 13th, the Great Tribulation would begin, coinciding with the Synod of Iconoclastic Bishops and the increase in international tension. But I only wish that all the catastrophic prophecies were wrong, with the utmost respect for all the predictions. I also hope that the astrological help of the seventh of chivalry will arrive at the end of next January, when Pluto re-enters Aquarius. Everything seemed designed to try to lower the spiritual frequency of humankind and plunge us, plunge us into fear and pessimism, but I'm sure that this strategy will not work because the divine plan prevails. An attempt is made to create more vicious circle of irrational revenge, while the international community condemns the attack and calls for an end to the violence. This vicious and tiring circle never fails, because everything was on point according to Mark Sita. Every time the good guys win, the bad guys counterattack to create chaos and confusion, as happened on 9-11, when they say, when it is said the Nisara law was going to be announced. Each victory of light is followed by a counterattack of darkness to delay the process. And this is why I never tire of asking for the right divine intervention to break this vicious circle and obtain a definitive victory. The art of war teaches that one should never attack without absolute certainty of victory, and there is not such certainty in attackers. It is upset to attack a giant when you know you have no chance of winning, and that principle can be applied to recent, to recent conflicts. But common sense is the least common of senses. In addition, both sides attack defenseless civilians, which is prohibited by the Geneva Agreement. Meanwhile, the European summit in Granada, Spain, has failed to resolve any conflict at the gates of Europe, even though the dinner alone cost the Spaniards 180,000 euros, a summit that brought together nearly 50 European leaders. Dozens of advisors and legions of journalists ended without pain or glory. It was built as an opportunity to negotiate peace between Armenia and Azerbaijan, reduce tensions in the Balkans, and hold a strategic conversation on global security. But things remain the same or worse. Planet Earth continues to be affected by negative polarization. It seems that Mother Earth has reacted to human violence with earthquakes in different parts of the world five of six kilometers deep. For example, the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii has recorded more than 
320 earthquakes in 24 hours. Conflict. Israel declares a state of war after an unprecedented surprise attack by Hamas. Netanyahu announces the end of the first phase of the Israeli operation against Hamas. The international community condemns the attack and calls for an end to the violence. Vicious cycle of violence. The world reacts to the conflict in the Middle East. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres asked moderation. The conflict has no solution by force. Russia calls for a ceasefire. American governments regret the escalation of war and call for dialogue. The Kilauea volcano in Hawaii registers more than 320 earthquakes in 24 hours. Colombia apologizes for the extrajudicial executions from 2004 to 2010. The Phoenix Hypothesis In the is the current world situation a gigantic destruction? What if what is happening on the world stage is not a coincidence or crazy, but everything is going according to a plan? Christian Collard, an expert on the truth movement, brings together alternative theories and statements from whistleblowers in his book to form a global picture. The Phoenix Hypothesis provides a model for why the system performs such strange maneuvers on the world stage that interpretations diverge even in alternative media. He postulates that the main reason for all the transformative processes that we have increasingly observed since 2020 would be a cyclical geophysical phenomenon. Reset News People outside the system are busy doing what they love, fixing things. Mark Sira thinks Monday is today, but the war in the Middle East could frustrate him. Perfect storm for the economy, skyrocketing bonds and debt crisis. Mohamed Elerian believes that the economy is in trouble and that the soft landing seems less likely. The WTO foresees a slowdown in world trade without a multilateral and fair system. Central banks continue to accumulate gold. They bought 77 tons of gold in August, which represents an increase of 38% compared to purchases made in July. Over the past two years, we have witnessed the construction of the new trading system based on digital assets. The rise of open banking has allowed new companies to establish themselves as new banks and create digital wallets as a global payment method in e-commerce with a market share of 49%. Transition. Adama of Telos through Asara. St Adama of Telos through Asara Adams says that we are in a stage of transition. Humanity is on the way of the next golden age, and this transition involves many changes in reality. The golden age is a reflection of the kingdom of heaven or earth. In this real reality, there will only be peace, unity, prosperity, freedom, and well-being in all areas of life. At the moment, it seems like a distant dream as many areas of life are in great turmoil. However, we are here to tell you that the old structures must be dismantled to make room for the new ones, so that the reality on higher dimensions can enter. This is being done in a way that allows humankind to feel stable enough to continue its existence and way of life. But at the same time, there will be some interruptions in order to move forward in the transition to the new golden age. Right now you are in the transition stage and the more you hold on to your inner divine self, the easier this transition will be for you. Furthermore, as you recognize God within you and within all life in the world, you are moving into the first lane to experience 
the first glimpses, and then the full experience of, of heaven on earth. Continue to hold the vision of the new earth. Many had past lives in different golden ages, and you have the memory of it within your soul. Start to remember. You know what this was like, and your heart longs for it to be a way of life again. Ascension. As human consciousness rises, a relative movement is gradually promoted in this quadrant of the universe. Few understand that to change the world, it is enough to change yourself. Others, however, want the world to change, but they themselves make no effort. You are here to carry out your own ascension, and soon you will be ascended, you will be an ascended master. Jack, just like all the ascended masters before you. Our, our biographical consciousness, which is what the soul accesses while incarnating, knows in higher frequencies everything that is to come. Remember that the veils have not yet been lifted, but your, our higher vision informs our fractal intuitively in a more subtle way. The more you allow yourself to expand your consciousness, the more information you will receive. It is this information in the form of frequency that causes so many symptoms never felt before. The messages coming through the communications lead me to believe that the majority of the servants of the light are undergoing a major energetic upgrade. And this happens in such an intense way that it is surprising because the majority believed they had already passed through the descent Greet. The energy never felt before goes from one extreme to the other, and it feels like a roller coaster. Anxiety, palpitations, tachycardia, blood pressure problems, depression, lack of appetite or aversion to certain foods, dry mouth, body aches, unjustified fears, diarrhea, or whatever. It is not easy to maintain this high frequency, but we should at least realize that most of the symptoms are caused by ascension. What the soul is going to experience from now on, you knew before accepting this earthly school, but you had never experienced it before. And this creates such a great expectation that it is reflected in the physical body and also in the emotional body. Remember that the body expresses the language of the soul. Try to relax and don't, don't resist change. Everything that comes will be for good. That is the guarantee that has been given to us from above. We also have a lot more support than we think, so there is nothing to fear. We have waited many millennia for this moment, and it has now arrived. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.